I'm Celia Sawyer, interior designer. I've got a vast clientele, uh, high net worth clients, anyone from business people, celebrities, all sorts of fabulous people. I've also got very ordinary people, very down to earth people that I do work for. Um, and they're all very exciting, but I cannot name anyone famous, so don't ask. I left school at 15. I didn't have any qualifications. I actually got a U for English, which wasn't good. I'm not quite sure how I managed that. So I had to make sure I was better than anyone. I did my homework. I researched everything. I learned how to teach myself to room plan by cutting bits of paper out to scale. I learned how to use a scale rule and then sticking them on the plans. And I had to learn the hard way, but I'll tell you what, it makes you do everything properly and thoroughly, so no mistakes my end. That's why I know what I'm talking about. People get very scared about the words interior design. Well, it's not scary at all. It's kind of a bit like going into your wardrobe and looking at your clothes and redesigning it so that you've got outfits to wear, so you can put things together and they look right. So it's the same kind of thing. You sit in your home, you think, oh, you know, if only I had something to put my feet up on while I'm watching the television. If only my television was there. If only the colour was just a little bit warmer. And builders, well, they're always interesting. I always am very tough with them. I want them to turn up on time. Anyone who isn't is out straight away. I leave a sheet every week of everything that has to be done. It has to be ticked off, signed off, everything. So every single thing is met as it's supposed to be on time. And people that don't turn up, there's plenty of people unemployed out there. I mustn't say this ever on television, but a lot of the footballers that I do, um, some of them have got friends who play and their wives are bored. So they go, I think I'm being an interior designer. And they go and do their houses and they buy everything from Conran, okay? From candles to louvre, brush, cleaner, you know, the whole thing. Interior design is a tough business and don't be fooled by it. These contestants are really gonna have to work hard. This is not just a walk in the park. I tell you what will really piss me off, if people don't listen to me and they go, oh yes, but I've done it like this because I know this, that and the other. Don't tell me how to suck eggs. I'm going to be looking for someone that can listen to a brief properly. This is very important. If you're sitting with a client and they say, look, I really like living in a certain way, and you choose to just ignore that, you're going to fail miserably. I've got CVs that high sitting on my desk. If I could employ half of those people, I'd be so happy. Sadly, I can't, but this gives someone an opportunity, and I think it's fab.